last time I did a video, I was extremely emotional. I've had some time to sit and think, and I've read the comments that were posted on that video. Some people had some points, but other people had better points. My friend was a smoker. Smoked at least a pack a day most of his life. But he didn't get lung cancer. He got cancer at the mouth. Back when he started smoking, there was commercials on TV touting the benefits of smoking, touting how much sexier you could look by holding a cigarette, how much better your life would be, how much more fun you would have. And slowly, we've come to the realization that all of that is bullshit. And the thing about it is, and this is just a fact, if somebody like him had health care, where he would go in and get an annual checkup and so on, it could have been used to dissuade him from smoking. We tried dissuading him from smoking. It just didn't work. Smoking cigarettes is absolutely one of the most deadly things you can do to your body. But the simple fact is, even with that factor, If he had health care, he would have gotten preventive care. When he found out he got had cancer, he tried st to stop smoking, and did for a short while. But because of how addictive the cigarettes were, he was not able to escape it. If he had health care, then he would have had a doctor helping him try to get off of it. Because he had tried to get off it several times, but had never, never been able to succeed. Preventive care is what we all need. If we feel in a small ache or pain, we go. We, that's not the reason to go into the doctor. But if it's a persistent pain, then yeah. I've got pains all over my body that I can't go see a doctor for. I don't have the health coverage. Okay, I've had pains in me that I probably should have had checked out. Okay. This whole side of my, my finger here is numb. Because when it started hurting, I didn't have a chance to go to a doctor. And by the time I had gotten to a doctor through a free clinic, the damage had already been done. And this, I have minor numbness from the tip of this finger down to my wrist. Because I wasn't able to get to a doctor in soon enough time. I had health care for a short period of time at one of my employers. And honestly, that saved me because I had gotten stomach ulcers from stress from my job and some other projects that I was working on. And if I had had the health coverage at that point, I could be seriously either way more, worse dead than I am now, or dead.
and that's not a joke. Okay? If I had let the stomach ulcer continue, I would have been in so much unbearable pain that I would not have been able to move. So that means I would not have been able to work. Which means I would have had been financially ruined. Or I would have gone to the hospital and gone to the emergency room and put myself thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in debt for what I was able to take, you know, spend, you know, a ten dollar copay. Walked in, saw the doctor, told him what was wrong. He said he most likely have a stomach ulcer. We're gonna run some tests, took some blood, did some tests, came back. You know, he gave me some stuff to help my stomach. I came back a week later to see the results. He said, yeah, you have a stomach ulcer. Here's a prescription. You know, it's a stronger prescription than what I gave you before. And take this, and in six months, your stomach ulcer will be better. It'll never be cured, but it'll be better. I've lived with that stomach ulcer ever since. I, modium, you know, any of the, the, the stomach pain medications, um, Zantac, I, I'm, I, I, those are all in the house. Uh, I've got, you know, I, you know, if my stomach starts hurting, I go drink milk, because that just calms it down. But I know, because of that, I now have a pre-existing condition, which means if I ever got into a job that would get me, I would have the ability to get insurance, I wouldn't be able to get it because I have a pre-existing condition. Also, I have arthritis, pre-existing condition. If you look at back in my family, there's heart condition, there's, you know, Alzheimer's, there's diabetes, there's a whole ton of stuff. All of that stuff could disqualify me from getting medical coverage. And if I did get medical coverage, it'd cost me an arm and a leg. When I hear people talking about, you know, about, oh, we don't want the government taking control of it, I'd love to take have Medicare or Medicaid right now. They're actually pretty damn good programs. I'd love to be able to buy into them. Okay? You know, if they if it's set up in a structured way that I could afford it, I would be in it tomorrow. But people are fighting against a public option. Why? Don't we like competition? Competition makes things better. Okay? We have Coke, we have Pepsi, we have Mount, you know, we have um, RC, we have the generic Shastas and stuff like that and the generic brands at the local store. It keeps prices low. But yet we still got a range of quality between here's something that's really, you know, here's the Coke and the Pepsis, and here's the RCs, you know, and the Shastas. You know, you've got, I mean, yeah, these are going to cost a little more, but you're going to get better quality for it. And these are going to cost a little less, but you still at least get soda. We don't have that. We have Coke and Pepsi. And that's it. They, there, it is, they, there's not any other companies that are able to compete on that level. What this is saying is the government's going to step in and say, we're going to provide another option. That's it. They have to compete like everybody else. They have to do business like everybody else, except they're not going to have the overhead, which means they're going to be able to run cheaper. It's going to create jobs. It's going to put a lot of people, you know, give a lot of people insurance, like myself. I mean, if the public option was available, I'd be in it like that tomorrow. I'm, I'm in it. So, you know, you may have liked what I had to say. You may not have liked what I had to say. But the reality is, is that if we don't fix this now, it's going to be another 30, 40 years, and several million more people will die. I hate to be that blunt, but it's just the truth.